Letters from Drancy is the story of Marion Deichmann. And really, at the center of that story is the relationship between her and her mother, Alice. This is the place where I last saw my mother before she was taken away. Her presence is felt every day. This was a big motivation. I, I do it for my mother, of course. Hopefully, people see it, think about not only her, but the six million Jews that died during World War II. They tell a different type of Holocaust survivor experience than people are used to hearing. Marianne herself was never in a camp, and yet she is very much a survivor. It is just such an amazing opportunity to be able to tell her story in this way and to share it with the world. It's about creating environments that feel cinematic, that feel like they have emotion to them. We open Letters from Drancy with a scene that is based on one of Marion's recurring nightmares. Visually, I wanted to take the viewers into a totally a, a new space that they couldn't be in apart from in this VR experience. We're working with a set designer and our, and our camera team to, to kind of build this mirror sort of prism. The idea is that we have a German soldier and he's in slow motion. He's heading towards camera and it's sort of quite menacing as he comes towards you. There's one particular scene in Letters from Drancy that, that we always knew that we were going to use a particular animation style for. This whole sequence is told from her recollections as a child, and so I really wanted that to feel like an, quite an abstract animation. And that's really to represent the fact that this is an 80-year-old memory, it's a child's memory, with the use of motion capture for the animation as well. It brings a cinematic and ethereal quality. I had a horrible feeling of guilt. Why her, not me? 